This video clip is provides you with directions on how to access the PowerSchool Parent Portal or to create, first of all, create an account in the PowerSchool uh, Parent Portal. First step you want to do is access the Lake Region Union High School website, lruhs.org. Once you are at the website, you will see the, sc the screen here and there is a link on the right hand side and it's a PowerSchool Parent Portal banner and you just click on that. When you do, you will get the screen that you see before you. Um, there is there's a top portion where it says login and it asks for your username and password. When you the first time we're going to go to create an account which is down below. So you go down to create an account and you double click on that and you get the current screen here which is going to ask you for personal information and uh, a new username and password that you will use um, once you've created this account to access PowerSchool. So what you will do here is on the top is you will type in your your name and I'm going to create this for accessing my own son's grades. So type in my first name, last name, my email address. Now when you get to the fourth line where it says desired username, this is what you are going to want to use from here on out to access PowerSchool. So if you have a favorite username that you like to use in all your accounts or if you want something new, uh, this is your opportunity. You are creating uh, a username and a password that you will use from this point forward. Password must be at least six characters long. And then it will ask you to retype it. And once you've put in those six lines, you will go down to the bottom. Here you will put uh, the first name of your, your child, and so I will put that in. My son's name is Derek. Tab over. Now the access ID and the access password, you will need to call our guidance office to get that information. Um, call Monique and she will be able to give you the access ID and access password for your child. If you have more than one child, then you each student has its own or has their own access ID and access password. So make sure you ask Monique for um, for those. I will type in the access ID and the password are case sensitive. So you need to make sure that you you type it in correctly and in the, in the correct case. And then the tab over over here and you choose the relationship. Once you have filled that in then you are ready. If you have a second child then you would you would go here to the second line and you would put the name again their access ID and their access password and uh, get that in there. Once you have all that information in you are ready to hit enter. And I will double click on enter. And as Murphy's Law has it, an account it shows that there is an error. On occasion, um, when you push enter, there will be an error message that comes up as you see in this uh, current screen. And it will tell you uh, where, what the mistake is. In my case, it says an account with that email address already exists. So I will go back through and I'm going to uh, use a different email address that I have. And then what you have to do is you have to go back through and input all of the information um, before. And again, I will uh, once I have all my information there, I will push enter. And there you have the current screen. At this point, you have it sends you back to the uh, initial login screen. And at this here, you will type in your username and your password that you had created when you uh, or you had established when you created your account. Once you have put the username and the password that you created into here, you hit submit and you are looking at your son or daughter's report card. Now once you are, you are looking at your, your son or daughter's report card, you can access any of their grades. So you can go to anything in the light blue um, means that you can um, 
dig in. Uh, so like here, I want to find out um, in this particular class what makes up that grade of 78. So I can move my cursor over, and on the, when you move the cursor over the blue, it will show a, a little pointer finger which shows that you can access that, and you click on that. What shows up at this point is um, a list of all the assignments, tests, quizzes, any grades that have been put in for uh, your that made up that child's grade. Um, and you can see the grades here on, on the right hand side. Um, and then there are also some codes here which would indicate whether it's been collected, if it's late or missing. Um, there's also that information there. Um, in this case here, you can see that there are some, the last three grades have not been put in yet. The, there is no score there, but the assignment has been listed. And uh, that is just more information. Over here, you can see um, on the assignment part that there are, some of these are written in light blue. And again, like the previous screen, if it's in light blue, you can move your cursor over it and click on that to find out more information about what the assignment was. Um, not all of them are that way, but that's uh, the teacher may have input information there. So that is some of the things on how you can access your grades um, and what you can, the detail that you can get in here. Some of the other features when you get to the screen uh, on the upper right corner of your screen, you will see some different icons. Uh, one of the icons says grades and attendance. That you can click and uh, when, when you click on that, again, you go back to the student's report card. But if you scroll down to the bottom of the report card, you will also see their attendance history. Um, it has attendance history by the past couple weeks, but it also has the total number of absences and the total number of tardies that uh, your son or daughter has had for, uh, for the year and for the quarter. You can also, uh, if you go over to the next icon it says grade history. If you were to click on grade history what you see there now are, um, is a report for not only this year uh, but for it, it's really for all of the, the grades historically that your child has had since they've been at Lake Region and the credits that they earned. Um, so if they pass the course with you know with an A or a B or if they fail the course it will register here and it goes back to um, it, it covers the entire year their entire years here at, uh, at Lake Region. The third icon over is attendance history. If you would click on attendance history, what that will show you is a screen um, that shows the attendance history for, for your child for the entire school year. And so you can go through and you can see um, if they've been in class or if what days they were out of class and for what reason they might have been out of class. On the far right, uh, there's an icon called account preferences. This is the icon that you would select if you wanted to change, if you ever wanted to change your username or your password. Um, if you click on that, then you will see a particular uh, screen and it will allow you to make changes at that point. Um, and that is, uh, I will go back to the grades and attendance. And at the top, there are tabs. If you have multiple students, there will be tabs with your with your the different names of your children, and if you just click on the tab, the different tab, which will allow you to access the the different students' uh, report cards. There is also a tab here that shows the standards grades. If you click on that, then that will show you um, the 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 standards rubrics for each one of the classes and how they've been filled out by the different teachers. And that's about it for the different features on PowerSchool.